Tommy, well done. You've earned a point in the end, but I'm guessing you'll probably feel it, it might have been more. It should have been more. I think um, this is when you challenge the boys. When you come up against good teams, you've got to take your chances. And I thought first half, we had opportunities to really go in probably two, three, but you don't take them chances, you let them back into the game. And it was like, it was a weird half-time team talk because you, you're pleased with how the lads are playing and you're hoping not for a St. Nick's all over again when we absolutely smashed them off the park and then we come out the second half and get beat 3-1. So it was a big bonus for the boys actually to come out second half. We've gone 2-1 down against the runner play really and to claw one back in, in the the way we did, Connor Kennedy's unbelievable finish and we deserved that, you know. I think if we'd lost the game today, it would have been St. Nick's all over again and you're looking back and it is missed opportunities, but no, the, the lads put a great shift in today. It is fine margins, isn't it? Because uh, Ben Milnes was was in, wasn't he? And uh, and you know probably should have done better. And then a minute later, you're, you're you know you're level, and and that's the way that's the way football goes sometimes. But you know, I guess these these chances you 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 need to start start taking them. We do because we're not going to create the amount of chances we did today week in week out. So the fact that we scored two goals is a bonus. But I always fancy us to score goals. That's 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 never an issue. Um, They've scored two goals today without really creating too much, and even their goals, you could argue, they weren't really chances, they were half chances, if anything. I'll have to have another look at the first one, because it seems as though Walt's got pinned on his line and fouled, so I'll have to have another look at that. Um, and the second one, you know, he's followed in, and that's what you're taught as a young kid. Shots going at goal, and they get parried, so you've got to keep gambling. And there was opportunities first half for us to do the same. We tested their keeper, and a few little bits spilled out, and you're like, oh, I can't get on the end of that. And we had some great chances, Elliot Chamberlain, um, but it was brilliant today, but no goal for his reward. Um, him and Spencer looked like a constant threat throughout and they, and they, and they did cause Dunstable a lot of problems. You got the equaliser and like you say, it was uh, it was spectacular, wasn't it? Now I know you've, at times you probably had to rein uh, Connor in a little bit from getting too far forward and making sure that he remembers his defensive uh, responsibilities, but he got forward today, the ball got laid for him and well, it was in from the second he hit it, wasn't it? It was and it's not it's not so much reining Connor in. Connor's he's really hungry and he's, he's, he's so eager to get forward and you know he's fit enough to keep doing it. It was just managing him a little bit better and, and just teaching him when to go. Like when he can go and when he can't go, but when he does go, then it's obviously important for the midfield two, for one of them to be covering for him. And I thought we did that well today. Connor's such a threat going forward. You can't just say to him, Connor, be an old school right back if you like. You, you know, he's he's got that ability to get forward. Callan has on the opposite side. You know, the two of them are just they're just athletes. They've got energy to burn. Um, I thought the way we pressed the ball. Players like Ben Mills today, Cleveland, Sarah Shane Burn. I thought they all put in a great shift, and we did like the two front lads. Everyone worked hard for each other today um, and they got the reward in the end. Um, I don't really see it as two points dropped, I see it as a point gained and their performance was the ple like, pleasing thing for me. You're, um, you've, got a, you've got a young talent on your hands, haven't you, in, in, in Kennedy and that, and that emphasises it a little bit. I don't think anyone really needed a reminding of how good he is but you know it's, uh, it's surely not going to be long before, uh, before people really uh, continue to, to take a real good look at him. He got the attention uh, last year, he probably played five games in the first team and he had the big boys looking at him, so that will continue. Conor Kennedy's a good player, um, a lot of clubs are aware of him, there's teams like Leicester that I know really like him. Um, the thing for Conor is the fact that these under-21 development teams, especially the Premier League ones, they're full of internationals and that's what Conor's up against. Um, I personally think Connor's getting a great football and education, a great platform to, to play on. He's, he's loving his game here, he's, he's a local lad and he's playing week in week out so I think if you talk to Connor and talk to his dad, um, the two of them are, are delighted with obviously what he's achieving. Then. You move on uh, Tuesday night uh, over at Kettering again for the Red and Shore Cup. What's the what's the plan for that one? Because you're in a slightly different situation to the Hillier Cup in that you've obviously got a, a very big game over at, uh, at Burnham next week. So, you know, do you do you shake the pack a little bit for for Tuesday night? Yeah, it will be. We're definitely going to shake things up. Um, I told the Kettering gaffers that last time we played them, and then today we've, we've, we have got quite a lot of knocks today as well. So that's probably forced me around a little bit. Um, there's a few lads that, that desperately need a game, there's lads like Eddie Appleton um, and a couple of others that are desperate really for 90 minutes, so they'll, they'll get a run out. Um, and then again, to be honest with you, we've got some of the lads that are featured this year, Elliot Bentley, Curtis Hartley, Jordan Crawford, Harry May. You know, We have got good youngsters that I do want to give that opportunity to and 
and they deserve that platform um, to go and play on. And they did it in the last game, and I expect them to perform again. And uh, obviously, moving ahead, you know, it's uh, it's a fair way out in the distance, obviously, but Burnham away next next Saturday. And, uh, you know, the the top, uh, well, four out of the top five played today, including yourselves and Dunstable. And the other game, you know, Paul have lost for the first time. So um, it's, uh, it's all to play for. It's only October, of course, but plenty to play for. It is, you know, we it's gone quick. At the same time, we have only played 14 games. And I, I just, I've told the boys after the game, you know, it's easy to get up for games like this. Um, it's when you go away to teams like Burnham, that's when how how consistent can you be, how motivated can you keep yourself as, as a professional and you know these boys they've put in such a good shift today, uh, quite a lot of them will have the Tuesday night off, we'll do a little bit of work, we'll train Thursday and I expect them to get out of the traps again Saturday and, and I do want to come away with three points, They, like I said at the start of this month they had a point total to reach, um, we're on course-ish for that, obviously bar barring Slough, so the boys have bounced back from that. Um, like I said, I expect them to go to Burnham and, and put in that performance, and if, if I get what I've got today, I'll be happy.